So now for this uh, circuit, we don't have it powered yet. And I'll talk about why. We have a 555 timer here, but the main thing is we want to light this LED. You know, no big deal. But uh, for whatever reason, um, we want to use a portable uh, power supply, a USB based portable power supply. So it doesn't really have a power button where it stays on. It will automatically shut off if it is not um, providing enough current. So LED is not enough current to uh, keep a lot of power banks um, from shutting off. So we added a 555 timer here. Again, it's not going to keep it on in most uh, cases right there. So it's going to control a PMP bipolar junction transistor. So I don't recommend using the 2N3906 uh, um, because uh, we're going to need uh, about 200 milliamps of current. And uh, so I got the 2N2907 that I have on the board. We will uh, look at that circuitry right there. Well, I get the power supply, I guess. So. Yeah, it's just an A-stable mode 555 timer. The output's going to be high, though, longer than it is low. And uh, so, yeah, got the power supply there. And this uh, particular, um, well, this uh, connector here is a USB, USB-A right there. And uh, we plug it in. And uh, this would not work with the USB-C. You would need uh, more circuitry. But in any case, um, those are becoming more common now. And... Uh, but uh, these A's are still available. So yeah, I'm just gonna plug it in. So yeah, now we have the LED on and you can see the display turned on. So you noticed we attached a load, but uh, now it wants to go into sleep mode at uh, some point right there. And I don't know if this is the power uh, bank that I originally um, came up with the circuit, but there you can see, we got the um, brighter LED right there. It's gonna be passing about 200 milliamps of current but uh, for a brief period of time, right there. And you can see every time it does, it wakes up this power supply. So this particular power supply, we could, uh, you know, if uh, you just want to light an LED, keep an LED lit for some reason, who knows why, um, we don't care about that. All we care about is keeping the power bank from going to sleep, trying to limit how much waste current we use by all means, so, or by whatever means, I should say. So yeah, we got the 555. As I said before, um, we don't have to use these values. I'm guessing, because I made this a long time ago, that this worked with 3.3 uh, million ohms. So that would take the capacitor, uh, you know, more than three times longer to charge. So that was probably fast enough for whatever power bank I tested this with. And um, But if it wasn't fast enough, you just go to, or you know, a long enough period of time Sorry about that. It's a higher value. That's not faster. It's actually longer right there. So if, uh, you know, it's flashing too fast, um, we could use a higher value resistor. If it's uh, not going fast enough, we could use a low value resistor right there. So I'm using 1 million ohms here, though. So that's going to determine how long it takes to charge. Plus, we got 220,000. So that's also going to add to the time. Remember, we're keeping it high for a relatively long period of time. That keeps the PMP bipolar junction transistor off. Now, once the capacitor gets to two-thirds supply voltage, so you can adjust these values to do that, then the output's going to go low, and the capacitor is going to discharge through that 220K resistor. So we want it to discharge faster right there, and um, because we just want a brief flash. Now, we could go lower value if that'll be uh, quick enough, you know. And uh, so, but uh, maybe I... Uh, yeah, shorter pulses. Maybe I needed this much time. I don't know. Or maybe I, I added a safety uh, buffer for this video. So, you know, can adjust these. This is not a set in stone circuit. That's my main takeaway. So, in any case, we get that pulse. Again, a little bit of current. We need, you know, a fair amount because we're switching a fair amount of current there. Uh, base to emitter uh, current. Um, but uh, in any case, we're going to get, you know, like 4 milliamps of current going that way right there. And we should get about 200 times that much uh, switched with the uh, transistor right there using 2N2907. Uh, so it's going to be more than 200 milliamps of current. And uh, so I don't want to use the 2N3906. Their limit is about 200 milliamps of current. 2N2907 can switch about um, 600 milliamps of current. So we're going to stay below 300 still. And uh, this does that. So yeah, it just lights that uh, LED module. That's all it's doing. 
for a brief enough period of time to keep the power supply from falling asleep. So there you can see negative supply. It has a resistor, current limiting resistor already built onto it, the LED. And then this is the heat sink back here. These get really hot when they've been on for a while. There's our 2N2907 emitter on top, base in the middle, collector on the, the bottom. If it's a 2N and it's a bipolar junction transistor, that's usually the pin layout. So it's the same as the 2N2222, but it's the opposite polarity because it's PNP, but the pins are the same, emitter, base, collector. 1000 ohm resistor to the output. And this is just basic A stable, 555, but we're charging through two resistors, discharging through one. There's no uh, bypass diode for the uh, charging. That's uh, when it charges through the resistor and the diode. And you know, you may want to add that, you may not. Um, again, this is meant to be modified if your goal is to keep a power bank from shutting down when there's a low to no uh, current being drawn most of the time. So, in any case, that's about all there is to it. So I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.